What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jack's Baseball Collection. Today we're going to look at the cards that I'm going to be uh, submitting to PSA for grading. Now, the first couple, the first few of these cards are going to be ones that you may have seen on the channel if you're a subscriber. Um, a lot of these cards are going to wind up in giveaways. Um, grade doesn't even matter. Nines, tens, it doesn't matter. I give away free cards all the time. I give away a lot of cards. Uh... There's some monsters in this, and there's some ones more or less for the PC. Like, I got a couple of Ron Marinaccio uh, autographs that you're going to see. You might be like, well, why are you going to grade that? Because I want to, and he's going in my closet. But let's get into it. The first card is, well, actually the first two. My two uh, Junior Caminero uh, Bowman First Mojos. Um, as you guys are seeing what's going on with Ellie, Sometimes it's nice to be prepared in case that's going to happen. You're going to want to have uh, one, maybe two, maybe one for the PC, one to sell. You're going to want to have some of those on the side. Next, we got a Anthony Volpe. Uh, I pulled this from a $50 Walmart box. That was, uh, it looked pretty clean. Went over it a couple of times. It actually looked really clean. This one was also in the video. This is the Jordan Walker from 2023 Tops Heritage. This is his... Rookie short print variation. These are a tough pull. So I want to see what we could get on that. Then we have a Lazaro Montez. I like this kid. Um, he's young. He's about to turn 19. So, yeah, extremely young. And I think he's got a lot of potential. Obviously, a lot of people do. So we're going to give that one a shot. Next up is... This year's possible rookie of the year for the National League, Corbin Carroll. He was uh, he cooled off a little bit recently, but hopefully he gets back into the big swing of things. I think he hit a knock today or yesterday. I can't remember. All the days are blending into one. Then we got this Yoshue Josu. I'm still not sure how to say his first name. I'm going to go with some people say Josu. Uh, a lot of people say Hoshue. Uh, Hoshue De Paula first. Purple. Out of 250, also a mojo from the Bowman uh, Mega Boxes. Pick those up at Target. Then we got a Cam Collier first. This one looks pretty clean. Um, again, well, if I could just get the card possibly in there. Somewhat straight. That looks good. Um, another one of those prospects you want to have on hand in case they blow up. Price skyrockets. If you're into selling cards, like I said, I, I have a eBay store, don't even bother looking at it. The shelves are empty. I think I have a Bobby Wood on there. I've been so focused on doing this YouTube thing that I just kind of let that run dry. And I'm going to let that be like that for a while. I still got a lot of uh, restocking I got to do as far as grading. Then we have a Davison De Los Santos. I love that pose too. That shh. Bowman Chrome first. Mega Mojo. Moving on to the Kodai Senga rookie. I have three of these. This is the Mega Mojo also again. I have three of these. This one looked to be the cleanest and it was the obviously most centered. This one I pulled from Filmington's July box. This is that Shohei from uh, Topps Gallery 2018. Um, <laughs> any Shohei rookies, as long as they're presentable, even if it's a nine, they're going. They get pulled. They go. We got a Francisco Alvarez rookie card. Bowman Mega Mojo numbered to 199. I'm not even magenta, purple, lilac, mauve, broham, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what this one is, but it's a purplish, pinkish, and it's numbered to 199. So that works for me. We got a Curtis Mead first. This could be an aqua, a teal, a sea foam. Um, it all depends on what year it is, but, uh, same thing as number to 225. I try to keep up with the colors, whatever. We'll go with greenish. How's that sound? Greenish. Curtis Mead, greenish first. Bowman Chrome, uh, Bowman Chrome Mojo. Then we have a Ezekiel Duran rookie card autograph, numbered 299. I pulled this myself. Uh, in a video, in one of those uh, Bowman Chrome Mojo Mega Box Packs. This one, this was, <laughs> I pulled this 
in a $10 hanger box from Walmart. And the funny thing is the day before I, or Walgreens, I had gone and almost cleaned out that Walgreens. I left like three boxes. I went back the next day. There was one left. Something told me to buy it. And uh, whatever that something was, thank you. That is, uh, in case you can't tell, that's 2023 Topps Heritage. Then we have that Junior Caminero that I could have possibly overreacted to. But <laughs> I don't believe I did. This kid's got some pop. I think he's going to possibly be really big down the road. Uh, I had to have the uh, Judge Montana, um, one of my subscribers. Oh, man, how did I forget your name? It's Judge Montana Collector, I believe. I want to give him a shout-out. He helps me out with a lot of the intricacies that I can't keep up with. Um, so I was trying to figure out why that wasn't a first. And then when he explained it, it completely made sense. But I'm sure most of you guys know I just didn't. This was from a Topps Big League 2023, Josh Young. Uh, this is the blue refractor, obviously, in case you couldn't tell. Um, not numbered, but I like that card. I like the way it looks, and I think that's going to hold some value down the road. Pulled this from one of Filmington's boxes. This is the Otani uh, Topps Chrome 2019 cup card. What's going on with all this fuzz? What do I live in, like a sweater pocket? That's insane. These are all inside a cardboard box. As long as it stays on the outside, not the inside. But, uh, yeah, Shohei Otani 2019 Topps Chrome Cup card. Anything of his is pretty much worth grading. All of his cards now, I pretty much just pull out, penny sleeve, and then top load them just in case you never know. This card, now we got hair on them. Cool. I guess my wife's playing with my cards when I go to sleep. Or my daughter. <clears throat> this is Oswald Peraza 2023 Bowman Chrome Mega Box Mojo Refractor Autograph. Peds pulled this, and I made him a, uh, not an offer, but a proposition right in his comments. I was like, how much for that card? And he said it had a slight print line, which it did. But if you open a lot of this, then you realize most of these have print lines. So I'm hopeful for a 10, but if not, this would be PC'd anyway. For my Yankees. John Duran, just because he throws 127 miles an hour, and you never know. I mean, if <laughs> if he winds up being something really special, he already is really special, but if he goes, you know, far with it, then this card could be a monster down the road. This is the 2022 Tops Update Series, numbered to 2022 Gold. And then pulled this from a hot box. I want this more or less for my PC. This is the purple Julio Rodriguez hot box re the hot box chrome. Um, the top looks possibly a little shaky. I don't know if you guys could see it. It's not more. It's not rough. It's just uh, you know on these chromium cards you could kind of see it when it wavers a little bit. But I'm hopeful the centering is like dead on 50-50. So. We'll see how that goes. I got a whole bunch of Julio's, obviously. You got that one, got that in orange. This one, I don't really know why I'm doing it. I mean, Matt Walner, he's not a bad player. He's a rookie, but it's a black and white. So I figured I'll give one of these a shot because I don't have any uh, black and white variations. So we'll see what's going on with that one when it comes back. Corbin Carroll base, 2023 Tops Heritage. I don't believe you could have enough Corbin Carrolls in PSA slabs. So that's the reason for that one. Moving on to Nolan Gorman in the blue speckle from, uh, what was that? The, uh, I forget. I believe it was the Walmart boxes. I don't know. I bought this thing on eBay for like eight bucks. I liked it. It's shiny. I like shiny things. So that'll work for me. I pulled this card out of a 2018 Topps Heritage box. This is the 2018 Walker Bueller Rookie autograph um it's centering is it's definitely within the limits to 60 40 it might be like i don't know 51 49 it's pretty tight but uh really like this card and whenever this guy makes a comeback sometime around 2034 he's gonna be big i do like him though he's an amazing pitcher we got judges cup card in the 20 18 tops chrome numbered to 999 
Like I said, I'm a Yankee guy. And then we have two more of that card, just not chrome. So I'm going to hold on to them just because, uh, because I like Judge. Moving on to Miguel Vargas from the 2023 Tops. So I forget what series this was. What did I buy that? I don't know. But, you know, obviously that card's going to get graded because it's Miguel Vargas. It's Rookie. It's Mojo. It's got all of the, uh, and it's beautifully centered for the most part. Yeah, no, that thing, uh, a little heavy on the bottom, but I'll take a shot with that anyway. We got the Christopher Morel, same thing, 2023 series, I don't know, one or two. I forgot, no, series two, right? I bought a jumbo to series two. I don't know why I'm asking you guys. Nobody could answer. I'm sitting here in my house at 1.15 in the morning all by myself. But, yeah, series something, mojo. Uh, Colson Montgomery first. Again, we uh, go back, we default to the rule of can't have too many uh, just in case they blow up. One for me, one for thee. <clears throat> then we have two of these. Jason Krizan from 2022 Tops Chrome. Is this just Tops Chrome? I thought this was Update. I don't remember. I opened way too many cards. Way too many cards. I believe this was Tops Chrome Update. But, uh, yeah, two autograph rookie cards of Jason Krizan. And uh, I kind of like him. And I'm just hoping he blows up, too. Moving on to Mackenzie Gore. From, yeah, it is update because this is all grouped together. Tops update series, uh, Mackenzie Gore out of 199. It's the rookie debut. It's blue. It's nice. I like it. I hope I get a 10. Then we have, this was from 2022 Bowman Sterling. This was Sal Frey. Like I had this sitting in the get this graded box for, I don't know, seven, eight months. This is the orange out of 75. And now he's in the major leagues. So now seems like a, a good time. And I can't remember exactly what he did. Three for four, uh, four for four, whatever his uh, first game was the other day. And he uh, he came in and made an impact. So we're going to do that. Then we got the Oswaldo Cabrera once again for my Yankees. Needs no explaining. This card, somebody messed up on eBay. This card is the Silver Refractor Corbin Carroll Rookie card. This is numbered to 374, and somebody was selling it as the at the chrome refractor price that they were selling the uh, chrome refractor, which is numbered to 574. And uh, so I just put an offer in, and I think I offered them a hundred bucks, and they were like, "Yes." So I was like, "All right, sounds good to me," because this card was going at the time for around 225, 240. And I think I wound up paying a total of like $112 with everything all included. So, yes, 2023 Tops Heritage, Corbin Carroll, uh, Silver Refractor, numbered to 374. It is a little heavy on the right. I believe it's within standards. Hopefully, I would love attending this card. 2022 Tops Update, uh, Tops Chrome Update, Wander Franco Purple, just because I didn't. Here we go with the hair again. Who the hell's playing with my cards in the middle of the night? Uh, Wander Franco, rookie debut, purple, because I didn't get any of those graded when I got all my update. Then we got the uh, Bobby Witt. This was a redemption that I pulled from one of my cases. Um, I have, I don't have it on the stage right now, but I got a Super Futures in red. So hopefully this comes back a 10 also, because all my Julios came back nines. Then we have, speaking of Bobby Witt, Super Futures autos, Number to 25 in the orange. A beautiful card. And I know a lot of you are looking at that now and going, damn. Yeah, me too. Every time I see it, it's gorgeous. Casey Connection. I don't know if he has this one. This, <laughs> this would be a nice gift to send him, but I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I love you, KC, but uh, <laughs> I don't love anybody that much. My wife can't even have that card for free. Kyle Bradish, X-Fractor, rookie card, autograph. Pulled this myself from a case. It's a little off-center on the back, but it's looking beautiful up front. 
I mean, if you could actually see that all the way around, that is an amazing card. I really wish these were on-card autos, not stickers, but I like that card. And no, they're not going in order. There's not bigger cards coming down the road now. There's just things that I really like. Bryson Stott, rookie debut, to Topps Chrome update number to 299. Looks good. Hopefully we get good. Bryson Stott, not the debut. The base, purple. I graded one of these and I sold it on eBay. And I remember I wanted to hold on to it. So now I got to send one. I have about 30 of that card. So I got to, you know, I, I'm probably going to get, I, I'm coming up on 100 subscribers. I think I'm sitting at 94, 95. We all know what this card is. Everybody look at it. Blaze Jordan, 2021 Bowman first. Um, Chrome first. So for the 100 card giveaway, I'm going to give away, there's going to be a slab or two in there. Um, there's going to be some good cards in there. So get me those last six subscribers and uh, I'll give you guys some uh, nice free cards. Like I said, I'll take care of shipping and all that stuff. Don't worry about it. Just looking for the support. Like I said, the goal is one day to get monetized and get to the point where I could buy all my baseball cards with YouTube money. And then I can... <laughs> You know, out of every however many thousands of cards I would open, there's usually only one that I'm looking for. When I chase, I'm a very targeted chaser. It's not, oh, that's a nice card. I'll keep that. You're going to see, or, you know, you guys spend enough time on a channel. You're going to be like, this dude's nuts. He's just giving cards away. I don't have a lot of room in my safes at home because they're loaded up with other things to store a lot of cards. So I keep it really, really tight. Julio autographs, Bobby Witt autographs, Shohei Otani rookie cards. Um, I love that Bryson stop back there. But, you know, it's really got to be something that, to me, it's got to pop. Otherwise, I'm, I'm either giving it away or I'm selling it. And hopefully we get to the point where we have, uh, where I have enough following that I could do sales like Peds does. And, you know, that would be awesome because you, you, <laughs> I have extremely reasonable prices as well. You know, I'm taking a page out of uh, Peds' book. He's got his, a lot of his prices are to the point where you're going, is he kidding or is he serious? He's going to sell it to me for that price? Well, you know, if not, throw him an offer and a lot of times he'll accept as long as it's reasonable. No point in lowballing a guy like that who's already giving you a break. Then we got Nick Prado, because um, I like that one too. <clears throat> William Woods, I probably wouldn't have gotten as graded, but it's, what the hell is that? That's inside. That made it inside. I'll fix that off camera. Uh, gold autograph refractor numbered to 50. If it wasn't gold, I probably wouldn't send it away, but it is a rookie. It is a gold. It's numbered to 50. It is autograph. So we're going to give William Woods a shot. I had his card in uh, Father's Day. He's not a bad pitcher by any means, but, you know, usually I only grade the studs or guys like this. Yankees, pinstripe, pinstripe hype. It'll boost the price of almost any card. Two of these. I already have one in a PSA 10, so this might be a one for me, one for thee, or a two for eBay, or one for a garage sale. We'll see. But Ron Marinaccio, rookie. These, uh, the last one was beautifully centered. I feel like these cards were all just Ron's cards were cut beautifully. I wish they could have did that for all of them. That is 2022 Topps Chrome update. Coming down to the last two cards, we have uh, William Woods. Oh, I guess I lied because I said I only did it because it's 50. I didn't even realize this made it into the pile. There we go. William Woods and William Woods. I guess we're going to... I don't even know if I'm going to grade that one now. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. So now we're down to the last card. Last card I pulled, I believe this was before I even shot my first video. This is a Nolan Jones orange uh, parallel from Topps Big League. A sticker auto, rookie card, but it is an auto. And when I pulled that out of a Topps Big League box, I kind of felt bad because, you know, it's more or less a kid's product. And you feel like the weird old dude that's like, walking up to the counter with like kids toys and you have to explain them no they're for my kids and then i go home and i open them like a dope fiend sitting at the counter Ch -ch 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 -ch. but uh you know i got that autograph and i'm happy about it so these are the cards that uh i'm gonna be sending away to psa 
I let this video run a little bit longer than I would have liked, but I'm going to be announcing, I'm still working out the rest of the logistics on the 50 card giveaway, and I'm about to hit 100 subscribers, as long as a lot of you guys keep your subscription and don't, you know, unsubscribe. And then I'm going to announce the 100 subscriber giveaway, and it looks like they're going to be extremely close together. So we got some monster cards for the 50 card. I got them set up in this pile over here on the side. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. You guys could watch that video. It's not too many videos far back, but it says free baseball card giveaway. So you can't really miss it. And then I'm going to announce it. And I was kind of waiting for my new iPhone to come in. This way I could uh, shoot it on a clear screen. I'm working on a 12 Pro right now. And I, I'm not waiting for the 15. I went for the 14 Pro Max. So when that comes in, uh, it's supposed to be here on Tuesday. Right now it's Sunday, the 23rd. Yeah, 23rd. So uh, I'm probably going to announce that sometime on Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, we'll get down to it. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please click that like. Subscribe if you like this video. Uh, I'll be making a ton more. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Later.